Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Marty and 2A here, and today I figured we'd just do a little bit of a discussion video on the state of Sparking Zero online right now. I'll probably just have some gameplay playing in the background, and we're just gonna chat. I wanna hear your comments down below. Let me know what you think of the state of the online game, but I have played about 100 hours of this game already, a large, probably majority of those in online, and I think we got, we're at a critical junction, I think, in my opinion. And this month is key. You know, Black Friday is coming at the end of the month. Uh, next month is Christmas. People are going to be asking for video games. I'm sure Sparking Zero is going to be at the top of a lot of people's lists, probably. But we're actually at a critical point where I think if Bandai or Spike Chunsoft, the developers, don't make some key changes, we could see this game just devolve into some sort of sweaty haven, which it already kind of is. But just somewhere that's not fun at all to play online. Offline, you can still have a lot of fun with it. In fact, Budokai Tenkai H3, I put thousands of hours into that game. I don't know how much as a kid. And I played it only solely offline. And this game, you can do the same thing. You can play it offline, have plenty of fun. The custom battle mode is fun. There's issues with that too, but that's that's a separate thing. And this is going to be kind of like a an ex accessory video, I guess you would say, to a review that I'm going to make of Sparking Zero, hopefully within the coming week or so of the entire game. That's going to discuss everything, but this is just going to discuss the online state. And let's just get right into it. I mean, we all know I made a video discussing the three things I think they should change in this game. And the three things that I stated were Z vanishes are just way too abusable, way too easy. It's just not fun to watch and play. Clicking one button for 20 seconds. I had a fight the other day on, in one of my videos where I could see the timer going down. And there was like 25 seconds left in the fight. Should be a good amount of time to do some damage. And we just end up in a vanish for for 20 seconds and the, and the match ended. And time is up and I lost. That's that's not what you want to see, nor what you want to play. So Z vanishes are a thing, of course, that need to be fixed. I think we can all agree. Super counters, of course. Oh my god, super counters are just so spammable and such an easy combo break. And it makes revenge counters obsolete. And they really, really need to fix that as well. And in my opinion... Some people may disagree with this last one, but unblockable ultimates just should be reserved for offline only. Online should not have unblockable ultimates. It's just ridiculous. Makes shit way less fun. The second I see a Beerus or a Broly, I just don't even want to face that person because I know exactly what they're going for. They're not really going to try and play the game for fun. They're just going to try and get their ultimate and finish me. That's that's all they're going to do. And I know you could say, oh, but you can just teleport it. Like, yes, if I'm dirty with my timing, I could teleport it, I guess, every time. But it's extremely difficult to do. And it should not be down to that exceedingly small window, that exceedingly small frame for me to hit in order to survive the fight. Because that shit does like 20, 25 k my entire health bar. But this isn't a video to just to rehash those points from that other video that I made on the three things I should change. I said we're at a critical point because I believe this is the month where we're entering the second month of the game. This is where a lot of casuals are probably going to drop off. Especially ones that were just kind of into it for the checking out the story and just trying to see what this next installment entailed a lot of them are going to drop off especially when they get into online trying to have some fun and they come across as sweaty ass teams that they can't even touch with their after image strikes and their unblockables and then the z vanishes that they can't even do combos because of the super counters a lot of casuals are just going to get fed up me i'm not even a casual i'm decent at the video game and i'm getting fed up i'm starting to like think in my head of content i can make that's just strictly offline because it's getting tired and boring online and even when I try and think of like new video ideas to do now, and I try and run a team to do specific things, I can't even get to do those things because I'm running into these kinds of matches where you just Z vanish for half the match, you just super counter, you sweat, you after image strike, you unblock of ultimate. It's it's very annoying and it's not what Budokai Tenkaichi 3, what made it fun for me. Obviously, I only play that game offline. Like I said, I never played it online. So I can't speak to what I would have been like as a player if I played that game online. But what was fun for that game for me is that even though a lot of the combos were the same between all the characters, in fact, they were largely all the same, just like in this game, every fight kind of felt different. You used different characters, it felt different. Different scenarios, different kind of comebacks, different attacks. It just felt fun. Here it just feels like everybody's using the same two or three teams. Everybody's just in it to make their parents proud of them by getting S rank or Z rank. It's kind of just sad and pathetic. And I don't want to be too hypocritical because I have made videos using said dirty teams. And it's not really an excuse to say I just did it for the content because I don't play those teams off of the videos, but it shouldn't be every single fight I get is of Super Vegito or an after image or this or that. Nobody likes the characters that they're using, I feel like. They're just using them because 
they really want to win to get their rank up and that's another thing i don't know why they even decided to make a ranked mode for something this unbalanced and casual match should not be sending you into a lobby where i have to wait for a match why is it so much easier to get into a ranked match and a casual match it makes no sense but let me go back to the thing i said the critical junction I i'm off the cuff here i'm not reading off a script so i'm a little excuse me if i'm a little bit all over the place and i just played some online matches where i made a video out of it and i'm passionate about it now because that video just honestly pissed me off go check it out though it was a fun video and i think if we don't see any kind of patch this month from bandai or from spike i know they released a patch a couple of weeks ago fixing what yeah, Jirobi, I guess that was nice. They fixed some optimization stuff. There was a bug with when you play classic versus standard controls, you couldn't switch out. Still, little stuff like that that obviously needs to be fixed because that's disgustingly broken and makes the game actually unplayable for some people. But if we don't see some sort of change, like even if they do a little change, something that isn't enough to fix the game in terms of fun, in my opinion, but even if they just change super counters on their own, for example, that wouldn't be enough without fixing the Z-Vanishers, but if they did something where it made you go, Oh, they have our back. They're listening to us. They want this game to thrive. Then I think we're going to see this game heavily dip in player count, especially online. And I don't want to see this game be like a roller coaster in players, where every time there's a DLC, there's a spike, and then there's immediately huge drop-off. Of course, there's going to be spikes and drop-offs during DLCs, but I want there to be some sort of consistency in the player base. And honestly, why am I making this video? I don't know. I'm just passionate about the game. I love it so much. And I know what it could be. It's so close. There's some key fixes they have to make. And I never played Xenoverse 2. I played, actually, I played like maybe less than 10 hours. I played Xenoverse 1 a lot. Xenoverse 2, those games just never really interested me. They didn't really capture the Dragon Ball feel. But anyways, it's not a video shitting on Xenoverse. I'm just bringing it up because I don't know. If in that game there were some broken things that they then fixed or if there were some broken things that they left broken. So I don't know what their track record is from Bandai. I know there are different developers for this game, but looking back at that game, maybe we could see whether or not they're actually going to make changes or they're just going to leave it be. Same with Dragon Ball Fighters, but that game, I believe, for the first few years was pretty fairly balanced. And you could actually have a lot of fun online. There was nothing like absolutely broken that made you want to tear your hair out every single fight, which is what this game is getting to. And I know Dragon Ball Fighters is a different game that's meant to be balanced basically among all the characters. This game is not meant to be balanced and that's fine. Gogeta should not be losing to Hercule any day. Of course that shouldn't happen. I'm not saying we should balance these characters out. I'm saying there's certain things that every character can do that needs to be tweaked in order for the player base to remain strong, in order for the community to feel like they're being backed by the developers and by Bandai, the publishers as well. Because if you show care to a fan base, in anything, not just in video games, in the movie sphere, in the YouTube sphere like me. If you show care to your fans and people who support you and who follow you and who prop up your monetary success, then they're going to care back and they're going to stick with you. If you don't show care and you just let it be and you just let us die over here, super vanishing for half of our life, then we're not going to support you for much longer. And I want this game to thrive, honestly, for years. I would love for it to survive and thrive for years. And the way I see it going right now, I see it just crawling along for years. It could last for years, but it's crawling along, just dying slowly on all fours. And that's not what I want to see. I really want to see it. I want to see it run. I want to see it sprint through the years as a successful game that's fun to play online. And honestly, the structure of this video, I don't even know. I've just been rambling. I don't even know what I'm saying. I just want this game. I'm just passionate about this game and I really want it to succeed. And this is a critical month where if they don't do any changes, I can see a lot of people dropping off and moving on to different games and barely coming back aside from DLCs. But if they do some changes, they show some patches, show some stability improvements, fix some parts of the game that need to be fixed, make it more fun to play online, I can see a lot of people sticking with it longer term. And I can see it being a game that people come back to every week or so, every couple of weeks, not once a year or twice a year. Because there's so much fun to be had here. There's 182 characters. There's so much content to be made. There's so much fun to be had by casual players. If only they're allowed to have fun, because right now it doesn't feel like they're even allowed to have fun with the way the game is designed and the way that people are exploiting the designs of the game. And I've seen comments like, oh, well, the problem is people. People are the problem. It's not the game. Like, the game was designed by people to be a certain way. People like to win. People don't like to lose, especially with the ranked mode. They're going to exploit whatever it is they need to exploit to win the matches, which is a shame. But Bandai or Spike can fix these things. So it's not as broken. It doesn't feel as cheap when you lose. Because I'll give you an example. Super Vegito and his after image strike. When he goes into sparking mode, he's basically untouchable. 
because he bounces off key blasts. His after him strike lasts for like 15 seconds. He can dodge every single freaking attack you throw at him. He's damn near impossible to beat in that state. And Super Vegito should be dirty, but he shouldn't be broken and impossible to beat. So reduce after him and strike, please. That's one key thing I want to change that doesn't have to do with Z-Vanish, Super Counters, or, or Ultimates. Please reduce the time for after him and strike to like 5 seconds, 4 seconds. It's too dirty. But that's my thoughts on it, guys. Let me know if you enjoy the game the way it is now. Maybe if you disagree, anything you thought I brought out that's stupid, that's wrong. Please call me out if there's some shit I said. I don't know, I was just rambling here. I was just passionately talking about the game. Because I really want it to succeed, but I also want to know your thoughts. Disagree all you want. If you love the game the way it is, let me know. I'd be surprised if anybody actually loved the game in the state that it currently is online. Because it's just, just not that fun. There's spurts of fun which keep me in it online. But then long stretches of just annoyance and boredom. And I think it can be pretty easily fixed. That's the frustrating part. That's why I made this video. Because I think it can be so easily fixed with some patches. But if they wait too long, I think they're going to miss the boat. And a lot of people are going to drop the game, which I don't want to see. But with that being said, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Subscribe if you're new. Comment your thoughts down below, like I said. Consider joining the channel as a member so I can continue doing this long term. That would mean the world to me. Really trying to make this YouTube thing work. As you can see, I've been posting like every day. I love you all. Take it easy and peace.